Researchers in Jinka Wang's lab at Whitehead Institute are studying how pollen evolved its amazingly tough outer wall, which helps it survive its sometimes perilous journey from flower to flower. Unlocking the chemical structure of pollen's outer shell could provide the basis for creating new super-tough materials. Fu Shuang Li, a research scientist in the lab, collected pollen from a wide variety of plants and botanical gardens. About uh, 160 different species flowers or ferns. To understand the diversity of pollen grains and spores, and how their wall structures may have evolved, from the earliest land plants to the youngest lineage of flowers. But he kept some extra samples for a little art project. If one flowers enough for the pollen, then I will keep these flowers for the future for fun. <laughs> I like the ferns. I think they are beautiful. You just uh, pack the fresh tissues for weeks. Then when it's dry, you you just uh, laminate it. Pretty easy. But <laughs> I think you will last very long time. Those ones from last year, color is still very good. This season, Fu Shuang plans to send these pressed plants as gifts to people who help him collect specimens. But it's not the only pollen artwork he's made. By mixing pollen grains with resin, molding it, hardening it under a UV light, and sanding it down, Fu Shuang made pollen-based rings. Pollen is at the most inner, strongest polymer in nature. I mean, the diamond is not organic. But the organic one, the most strong one, I think, is the pollen because it even can survive. The morphology survive in the fossils. And then the earliest the land fossils actually is most of it's coming from the spores. Would other uh, tissues almost disappear? So I always think about put it in the in the ring because it's some meaning like a long life. Yeah, I plan to send this to my wife. <laughs>